The face of last night's Republican gubernatorial victories was all over the morning chat shows today. The Republican governor of New Jersey. Governor, nice to have you here. Good morning. Happy to be here, Max. Chairman of the Republican Governors Association. He campaigned for most of the GOP winners. Governor, welcome. <laughs> Chris Christie was downplaying his role in the big victories, which was pretty easy because it was just so obvious. How much credit do you personally deserve for the success of these Republican governors across the country? The candidates deserve the credit. It's always about the candidates, and the candidates deserve the credit. As RGA chairman, here's what you do. You raise money and you raise awareness. And by almost any measure, it was a formula that worked. In close races like Wisconsin, Florida, and Maine, routes in Iowa, Nevada, Michigan, Kansas, and New Mexico, even in blue states like Illinois, Maryland, and Massachusetts. Republicans won governor seats, and Chris Christie was a huge presence in almost all of them. He broke fundraising records as RGA chairman, raising over $100 million and keeping a travel schedule that was downright presidential. Morning, guys. How are you? Which put him in position today to comment on just what it all meant. As he's done before, Christie pointed a damning finger at the president. His lack of leadership abroad, his lack of leadership at home, uh, and, and that's what it's a reflection of more than anything, Brian. I tell you, the biggest emotion I saw out, and I went to 37 states, was anxiety. I had one woman in Vero Beach, Florida, say to me, Governor, what's happened to our country? We used to control events, now events control us. Last November, he won his own re-election by over 20 points, but didn't have coattails enough to elect one state senator. There was talk then that he was maybe a bit of a paper lion when it came to having an impact within the party. But this morning, the questions about a Christie presidential run were unavoidable. What is your timetable for when you're going to decide? You know, sometime next year. Um, sometime next year. There's no rush in making this kind of decision. And I think there's no reason to rush a decision as important as this. You know, I've said it all along. There's three questions I, I'll ask myself. Is it right for me? Is it right for my family? Is it right for my country? And if I don't answer yes to all three, I won't run. The governor has said that his extensive travels for the RGA would give him an indication of what it might be like to run for president. Well, by the end of this campaign, his voice was shot, and he did lose his temper with that guy in Belmar last week. But ever the competitor, Chris Christie, would say, you can't argue with results. For NJTV News, I'm David Cruz.